Welcome back to my time at Sandrock. It's still the same day as last episode, so we're still in the middle of a sandstorm. Unfortunately, we're about to continue with the quest line that we were doing with uh, this one, taking it easy. We're just like chilling out with uh, Elsie and Mian, and I really like this quest so far. It's really sweet. There's actually only 11 hours left. Oh god, I didn't realize that there was a time limit on it. Apparently there is though. <laughs> um, so yeah, it means what we definitely got to do this one today. We have also, so we've already played with Elsie and uh, Mian at the game center. We played Whack-A-Mole with Mian and that was really fun. I really liked that. I'm glad that the game introduced me to it because I didn't know it existed. So it was really cool to see actually. But now we're going to the the Blue Moon Saloon and we're going to have a bite to eat with our favorite duo, our favorite girls. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so that would be really cool. It's really cozy this cutscene. I really like it. Stupid mouse in the way. It always centers in the middle. I hate it. <laughs> I'm going to do it with my sand hat on. This one's on me, cowpokes. Go ahead. Help yourself. But don't just go and order all the most expensive stuff on the menu. I only work part-time for my parents. I wouldn't do such a thing, LC. I can't eat very well with this sand get on anyway. <laughs> Y'all, hold tight. While you're ordering, I'm gonna go grab a surprise. Don't worry about me, I'll be right back. Ooh, I like surprises. A surprise? Huh? I wonder what on earth she could be planning. Oh well, let's eat. Ooh. I never know what to eat. There's so many choices. Uh, why don't you decide? I'm gonna decide? Okay. Let's see. What's this mean? Must include coconut milk, jelly, salt, and pepper mushrooms. Do I have to order a specific thing or something? Must include spicy food, one meat dish, and one and two drinks. What if I just order something like this? What if I just go for the special or something? Let's just go for the special. It's the it's not the cheapest thing, but I'm gonna go for it. Does this give you stamina? Maybe I should have used some stamina before doing this. Oh, uh, did you forget the kind of thing I like to eat? No, no, it's fine. I'll eat it. Oh, I was supposed to order what she liked. That's what that was in the corner. I did see it, but like I didn't really know like what the meals had in them so <laughs> i don't know i didn't think too much about it i just went for it maybe you would have got additional relationship points if you had have ordered the right thing are we on a date or something like <laughs> i thought this is just a friendship thing i don't know okay how random i just ordered you the special i hope y'all left room in your stomachs for some surprise don't be shy go ahead and open it up Ooh, what's the <laughs> surprise gosh elsie you really had a gift all ready for us? You shouldn't have. Aw, that's super sweet. Will you do the honors? Of course I will. Let's see what it is. Oh my, we get a proper cutscene and everything. I like it. Oh, but it's ruined by my hat. <laughs> wow, that was uncalled for, don't you think? <laughs> y'all should have seen the look on y'all's faces. You are all like, ah. You are such a prankster. Oh my gosh. What, are they, what is she like? Can't take her anywhere. <laughs> Elsie. What? I told you I was going to surprise you. Was I fibbing? Not the kind of surprise I was expecting. I was expecting a nice surprise, but okay. <laughs> I dare y'all to come up with a more interesting gift to give me. I'll be waiting for you. Well, until then, I bid y'all adieu. That was fun. Until we meet again. See ya. See ya. What did you think of Elsie's surprise? Did it frighten you? A little bit, but it's okay. She's just a little prankster, isn't she? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's one of those types of characters. I feel like she would drive me insane. I don't like being made jump like all the time, especially when I'm just trying to live day to day, you know, and somebody just comes and makes you jump while you're just trying to like do normal things. It drives me mad. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of an annoying sometimes, uh, but yeah, it made me jump a bit. So it's not just me. Halsey's always pulling these pranks on me. Sometimes I'm afraid to even leave my workshop. Oh no, I hope it's not that bad. Well, it was nice to get out today anyway. 
If you get time, you should take your other friends out too. Maybe warm them up with a few gifts if they don't accept your invitation at first? Yeah, that would be great. I don't really know what gifts the townspeople like, but yeah, eventually I definitely will start gifting them and stuff. I think you'll find most people to be more relaxing around. Elsie can be a bit... lively. <laughs> you can say that again. Well, I better get back to the workshop. Catch you later. It was fun today. That was really sweet. I really liked that cutscene actually. That was really nice just to spend some time with the villagers and get to know them. I feel like we needed something like that. So it was really cool to see actually. Here's Owen. Here's my man Owen. I like Owen. Owen's hey awesome. There. Hey man, how's it going? Hey there, builder. I trust you got my letter. The situation is dire, I fear. I'm afraid if we don't get more fish, my customers will put a bounty on my head. Please, help me. Alright, I'm trying my best, alright? I'm trying my best. Hey, just see you around. bear with me. I just miss, I'm just missing one fish, that's all. Oh, it's Koopa. Good! You've returned! So I might yell at you some more! Yay! Now, where was I? Ah, yes! Now, where you get off going around asking for handouts? Good, honest, hard-working people like yours truly are out in the fields, breaking their backs, sweating their behinds off. <laughs> you decide to back away slowly again. <laughs> I don't know if I ever want to talk to this guy. He always just seems to complain uh, for some reason. What did I do to deserve this treatment? Why does he hate me so much? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry that I exist in this world. <laughs> My god. Some items have been blown away. Check in the direction the wind is blowing. Are you kidding? Better not be my items. Did it blow away my items? Oh no. I don't know. Is that a thing that happens in this game? I literally have no idea. What's this? From Mission. New special products available. One bustle cut per customer. Free of charge. What? What is this? Medical poster? It's a resource? I don't really know what that means, but okay. Well, let's go and turn our quest into Katori. I don't know what it meant by items have blown away. I just hope that that's not my items. Because <laughs> I'd really have no idea right now. Alright, let's go see if we can find Katori. Where actually are they? They're in a house. They're definitely in a house. In an apartment. I think it's like behind this one. Check in the direction the wind is blowing. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I don't understand. I have no idea what, what is like what the game's trying to tell me here. Well, I see a couple of people walking around with these like sand gear things on their head as well. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad to not be the only one. Let's go into the apartments. I think Katori is in here. So we'll go and see what she says. But yeah, I really hope that I didn't miss something there. I hope not, but I have no idea. All right, let's see. Katori, hello. Why are you standing so close to the door? Um, are you okay? <laughs> hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Now that's a nice looking relic. I'm going to display it in my museum. Here's something for your hard work. Keep your eye out for more relic pieces in the future. Anytime you collect a full set, you can use the recovery machine to reconstruct a relic. Nice! Then you can put them on display in the museum. And, I might add, donors will be rewarded handsomely. I did see that there were rewards for donating, so I'm super excited about that, actually. I really love Katori's character model. She looks great. I actually did read that she will be implemented as a romance like interest, but right now she hasn't been. So I'm actually really happy to to hear that because I think she's really pretty actually. She's a very, very pretty. I love her design too. And she seems really nice as well. She seems really polite. So that's cool. All right, I got relationship, workshop, relationship and experience. Oh, that's why she was by the door. She was trying to get out. <laughs> I was wondering like why she was just like stood there and like she was like so close to the door. But now it like makes sense, you know? <laughs> I was like a bit confused for a second, but that's okay. All right. So we've like picked up all the quests and everything. I think now it's time to actually like work on a quest. Which one? That's the question. I think either the sunshade quest or the sand fishing. We could go and get this like last sand fish because we didn't quite like manage to finish that quest last time. And that like was kind of 
annoying so yeah we should be able to i think i ran out of stamina last time that i was doing it so let's go and finish that one up that would be absolutely a fantastic actually that would be great i'm looking forward to catching some more sand fishies it's really hard to see in this weather <laughs> i can't see a thing are you an enemy are you a yakmo oh my gosh hello how's it going you just randomly just sat here Okay, I'll just leave you to it then. Oh my gosh, it, the visibility is very, very low. I don't know where I'm going exactly. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, we're gonna go over this way or something. I have no idea. There's Coco, the flying owl, just chilling out over there. I see, I see. All right, let's go over this way. The sandfish kind of area is up this way, if I remember. So we should be able to catch the last fishy up here it's getting night already no god damn it i still got all this stamina to to use as well i feel like i should use up all the stamina you need to be holding the trap can you do sand fishing in a sandstorm like this like i wonder if that's possible i guess you can i guess the fish don't care if it's a sand sandstorm or not then i guess i don't know did i guess something I did not. I don't even have any sandworms on me right now, which is super annoying. I do have some like in my storage chest. It's really hard to see them in a sandstorm as well. Like I can barely even see the darn fish. Did I get something? Oh, there's an angry, there's an angry one down there. Okay, we're just gonna quit this a second and we're gonna go and like, we're gonna go get some bait or something. We really need to get some bait because I don't think I'm gonna have much luck without bait actually. <laughs> so it would be an idea to to grab some of those. My workshop's down this way. Wasn't sure where it was. I couldn't see anything, <laughs> but it's fine. All right, let's go grab some things. And oh, I just clicked on the. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked on the stupid thing by accident. It's fine. All right, let's confirm this. And uh, do we have any left? I didn't use all of them, did I? No, I was gonna say. <laughs> no way I used all of those already. That would be crazy. All right, let's just put those in there. All right, we got some bait now. So hopefully we'll be able to catch this sand carp. I would very much like to catch it. That would be amazing, but we shall see. We shall see what happens <laughs> after all. There's a cactus. Oh, that's a cactus. Okay, we don't want to chop that down. I learned now that the hard way that you get in trouble for doing that so i'm not going to be trying that again all right let's chuck out some worms all right there you go some lovely worms they're all gonna be like going to the worms now i might be able to get two no i thought i could get like two in one go but apparently not <laughs> oh no that one got away get him did i get him i think i got him all right i got two sand cups it's such a waste of worm when like you can only chuck like one out and then like it kind of like only one sandfish goes to it and sometimes they don't even go to it either so it's like i don't know it just like it's a bit of a pain in the butt if you ask me <laughs> i think i got that one did i get that one i didn't oh god sand fishing is really hard <laughs> i thought it would be a lot easier but it's really not so interesting all of the things displayed at the bottom must be baits that you can use to lure out these fishes i guess all right that would do for now like we caught three it's more than enough for the quest so that's awesome i don't know what else you can do with the fish other than like for the quest i mean i don't know there's probably a use for it some place but i don't really know right now it's really late we should probably just go to bed so i think that would be a good idea um my stamina i got quite a lot of stamina still though <laughs> should i use it up shall we just quickly go into the mines and just use it up before like the day is over i might get the sleepy bags under my eyes but I do think that we should make the most of the stamina. So if we go down into the caves quickly, I'm sure that there will be a way to just quickly use this up before like bedtime. <laughs> that would be a good idea. I feel like maybe we can find some relics and stuff too. That would be great. I actually don't know how don't know how much space i've got in my inventory that might be a problem i didn't think that through <laughs> so hopefully i can like pick stuff up oh zeke is a recluse who lives in the greenhouse on the edge of town i've not met him um he can teach you how to take care of plants in the desert and then you can have your own garden yeah i want my own garden that would be super cool actually that would be amazing i can't wait can't wait for that Okay, is there any relics here? Like, I don't know if these, like, reset daily or something. I'm not too uh, sure. 
we'll have to we'll have to see if there's anything that I can spot here. I don't see any, which really sucks. So, so I'm just gonna grab copper, like whilst we're here. So this is gonna use my stamina really, really quickly. <laughs> and I just wanna take advantage of the stamina situation. That would be really good. I'm actually really excited for the stamp sandstorm to end as well, cause just can't see anything. And it's a right pain in the butt. <laughs> but I'm sure we're gonna need a lot of this copper going forward, so I'm just gonna collect a really really nice amount of this stuff and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome it's not too much longer that i can stay up though but i'm just gonna try and collect as much as i can i wish that they didn't like give you a deadline for like how long you could play like i wish that like you could just stay up until you wanted like i always i feel like kind of limited with like like what i can do like <laughs> this game forcing me to go to bed i don't like that i don't like that it like forces you to go to bed it's like morgana all over again from like persona 5 he's like you should really go to bed now <laughs> i don't want to i want to do more <laughs> and I'm like no you have to go to bed it drives me mad okay uh i think i got space all right that will do i mean i i think i used most of my stamina i should head back because like i'm gonna pass out otherwise and if i pass out then i'm probably not gonna get any stamina back at all and it's probably gonna be really bad so i don't think that's a good idea <laughs> so maybe not maybe let's not do that so let's go back home okay time to go to bed there we go so hopefully we get our stamina we're only going to be sleeping for like one hour <laughs> one hour but i got all my stamina back need to sleep earlier yeah i know i'm sorry i'm bad i'm very bad all right how do i take this stupid sand hat off i don't i don't want this on right now take it off all right there you go it just like like it's so big <laughs> it takes up so much room can't see anything <laughs> but that's okay all right today is a new day and hopefully no sandstorm so it'll be nice and clear weather for us but it was nice to experience the sandstorm at the same time because I learned a lot so I'm glad I'm glad we got to see what happens when a sandstorm occurs oh cutscene time oh what's going on oh no the stage looks like it collapsed or something oh boy what's going on here oh it looks like they're all trying to build it up or something Oh my gosh, this is a really nice view of the town and everything. We get to see all the peoples doing their day-to-day -day activities. Very nice. Hiya. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? The sandstorm last night was terrifying. I didn't sleep a wink. How are you holding up? I wanted to go back to Highwind. Uh, it was nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> really? Wow, you must be super brave. Hopefully I'll handle it better next time. I feel like she was very impressed with me. <laughs> it's, I don't know if there's like same-sex marriage in this game. Probably not, to be honest with you. But like, I don't know. I've not, I don't remember if my time at Portia did that or not. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I was walking around town earlier looking at the damage and ran into Matilda. She wants us to go check out that stage outside of the blue moon right now. So I came to get you. Yeah, it looks like it like completely collapsed, unfortunately. There was going to be a party there for Mason, too. Come on, she's waiting. Okay, do I have to go right now? Like, I I'm kind of busy. <laughs> I got things to do, don't you know? All right, let's put some, put some stuff away. Like, I got, like, no room, like, at all. Oh my gosh, what happened to my pot? It's got sand all over it. That's actually really cool that that happens. Look, you put the... Oh, wow. You put the pot down and, like, all sand pours out of the pot. That's actually really cool. That's a nice little effect. Wow, these are still going? Oh, wait. Uh, um, wait, what? It's got sand all in it. Oh, what do I do? Oh, you need the feather duster to get rid of the sand in the machine. That's really clever. I didn't know that there was a thing like that. Uh, I don't actually have a feather duster though, so that could be a problem. <laughs> we need to make one. I'm pretty sure I've got the blueprint for it. I just haven't made one. Um, I need feathers and thin thread from work table. Where do you, where do you get that? It said on from the thin thread is here. So we need. Okay, we need to craft some of these. Oh man, my inventory is full. No, this is a common problem in this game, sadly. So we just need, um, 
Wait, what? Did I? Oh, it went on the floor. Okay, hold on. I need I need backpack space. Let's just grab a couple of spaces here. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's go back onto it. So what we need now is just um, we just need feathers from monsters. Okay, so we need to actually kill some monsters for this one. Man, maybe I should make another storage box. <laughs> just it's getting absolutely insane, isn't it? Put that in there or something. I don't know what that does. I only got two spaces. Ah, it's just killing me. It's killing me. We need birds or something. Whoa, what's all this stuff? There's stuff all over the floor. Maybe like things got destroyed in the sandstorm. So like there's just so much stuff all over the floor or something. I have no idea. That's kind of cool though. Like it saves me doing stuff. I get stuff for free. <laughs> I'm not complaining at that. So that's cool. Apart from it fills my inventory up. All right, we need feathers. So I'm going to kill this rooster here. I'm back for revenge, rooster. Haha. <laughs> Take that. That was pretty easy actually. Do you drop feathers? I hope so. Oh man, I don't have room to pick anything up. It's painful. It's very painful. All right, I got some space there. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> Still not enough space. It goes on to the other page. Wow, it goes on to the next page and everything. <laughs> oh my god. How many like bag spaces can I do? Whoa, that's a lot of gold to um, increase it, isn't it? A thousand gold. I don't know if I want to do that many. Let's do a hundred gold. Okay, that's like quite a bit of backpack space there. I didn't get any feathers, did I? I don't think I got any, sadly. So that sucks. No, I did not. Uh, maybe we should kill some more or something and hope that the next one drops feathers. I really don't know if they do, but I'm just going to keep trying and hopefully they'll drop me something that I need. Let's have a look. There you go. I got one. I need one more. So we need to kill another one. That would be great. Oh, sorry about the little spike there. <laughs> Should be okay though. All right, let's take this thing down. What do we have here? Nope, nothing. Just, just keep murdering these rocket roosters. I'm sorry, little roosters. I know you're just like chilling out and everything, but I need your dang feathers. Drop the feathers, dang you. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to drop them. Cockadoodle do. Oh my gosh. Are you harder? <gasps> oh my god, this thing's harder. Oh god, this thing just went absolutely crazy on me. It's okay. I I think I can... Oh my gosh. I think I can take it down. I think I got this. I got this. Oh my god, look at all those rockets. Jeez Louise. All right, we got it. All right, I got loads of stuff. I got everything I needed from that. That seemed like a mini boss or something. I don't know. He was definitely a lot tougher. <laughs> so that's um, pretty crazy. But I got the feathers. So that's great. We're going to like make this feather duster thing. And get all the sand out of like my stuff. <laughs> this is going a bit, going a bit crazy right now. Alright, here we go. Crafted. Very nice. I didn't know that this thing was so important, but apparently it is. So where did it go? That's the question. I don't know. Here it is. It's over here. Let's hot bar that. So this is number five. We got a feather duster. So let's dust all the sand out of this thing. You can actually see the sand like going from it. There's still more sand here. Do I have to hold it? Oh wow, well, we're just doing some spring cleaning. Don't mind me, just doing some spring cleaning. I like that. That's like kind of cool. It's kind of clever. Why is it like not... It doesn't look like it's gone, does it? I don't know if it's gone. Has it gone? Is it going again? Are you... It's still stopped and I don't know why. What am I meant to do? Is there something I'm meant to do? Is there still some sand in there or something? Is it my water? It might be my water. I feel like I didn't have any water left. Yeah, it's my water. I need to go get some more water for this thing. Dang it, I need to go buy some. So that's a bit of a pain in the butt actually. Um, uh, maybe let's buy, let's make a, let's make two new storage boxes. Like my storage situation is just like, not great. I mean, we do have a little bit of room in inventory in the inventory, but I don't know. I just just want to make sure that we got room here. Look at all my lovely chests here. I want all the chests together. So let's like uh, pick this chair up. We're going to put it somewhere else. Let's put it like outside my house, like right there, right by my house. Very nice. And we're going to move this like I want it a bit closer. Actually, I guess we could... 
get the sand off of this as well <laughs> or the sand on the on the ceramic bottle that's cool that like that happens you can like clear up clear up all the sand <laughs> I don't know I just like it I just think it's like really clever <laughs> I don't know I just think it's like a nice little like feature that they added you know like that's kind of cool I like I like cleaning things in games I don't know why <laughs> all right this is facing the wrong way all right there you go so now we got a nice row of chests here which is fantastic oh wait before we do this let me just check the other chests and make sure like I haven't like you know got room to put stuff in because we probably do all right there you go very nice now I think we can dump some things in here that we don't necessarily need to be like carrying around with us like everywhere like all these monster parts and like the relic bits and pieces we probably don't need all of those i wouldn't i wouldn't think that we would anyway let's um let's sort that out okay anything else let's have a look keep that on me some stone glass dinas clay i don't need that yakmul horn i don't need the meat I think that would be okay because like we're gonna need some stuff on us so, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep the rest of the things on me but at least we have like a nice bit of storage there for like whenever we need it oh finally fang I finally met you first time I've ever seen you walking around hello you look awesome I love his design uh, what do you want so do you not talk does your bird talk for you uh, you must be looking for the doctor <laughs> Oh my god. We have something for you. For a new person. No danger at all. Take it, you jerk. Tell us what happens. Should be safe. Should be. Should be. What? Oh, you gave me some medicine? Thanks. Yeah, I don't think this guy talks. It's going to be a little bit awkward when you're romancing him and you're just talking to a bird the whole time. <laughs> That's going to be so odd, but okay. Fang, who's that? Who's that? The new builder. Oh, he does talk. I thought he didn't talk. <laughs> Hello. The new builder. He has a nice voice. I like his voice a lot. Wait, what? Acupuncture? Hmm. Can only be performed at the clinic. Oh my, we need to try that out sometime. That sounds really interesting, actually. Okay, let's go check out the stage. I kind of like got really distracted. I was I was gonna do this and then, I don't know, just other things caught my attention, <laughs> but that's okay. Alrighty, let's repair this thing. <sighs> my beautiful stage. Don't worry, Owen, I'll fix it for you. Now, now, at least no one was hurt. We can always rebuild. This is true. Say, speak of the devil, if it isn't our resident builders here to save the day. We are in a real jam here. We wanted to do a stage performance for Mason's going away ceremony, but now the plan's in shambles. Would you two be dears and find a way to fix this thing up? I don't doubt you'll be up to your eyeballs and other commissions, but whenever the stage is fixed, we can reschedule that ceremony. So I'm afraid I must insist on an official town request of the highest priority. Okay, I'll I'll do my best. I'll make you proud, Matilda. Heidi, dear, can you draw up a new design? I was sort of expecting the stage to collapse one of these days. So I already designed a new one. Here's the diagram builders. Does that mean this di this like stage was flawed this whole time? <laughs> Heidi knew about it. She did a she did a botch job. <laughs> she she knew it was gonna be destroyed. She was just waiting for her time so that she could like put someone to work and make more money out of it or something. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my, that's great. Why don't you builders decide on which part you wanna do? Can I actually decide? You pick first. I'm fine with either. The backdrop or the supports? I would like to do the backdrop. Alright. I'll take care of the other one then. Let's see what we've got here. They don't have the machines I'll need. I better get to Cheese Research Center on the double and get myself a grinder and a processor. 
Yeah, I already have the processor uh, diagram, but I don't have the grinder, so I'll probably have to go and get one of those too. I wonder if it makes much of a difference if you choose like the backdrop and the support. I wonder how much of a difference that makes. I don't know. All right, you two. Let me know how it goes. Good luck and thanks again. By the way, if you guys need it, you can go ahead and salvage this here stage. Stagey would have wanted it that way. <laughs> Okay, that's good to know so we can get some parts from it and it might make our like, you know Mission a little bit easier So that's good. What parts can I get from it? I wonder I don't know. Oh, Owen's got a quest quest everywhere. Hello. Hey there builder Looks like you survived your first sandstorm. I did indeed. Thank you This storm really did a number on my saloon though. In addition to the stage, I don't suppose you noticed there's something missing around here. Something very essential. Uh, the moon sign. Did it go? I actually didn't notice. Bingo! The sand rock skyline it just isn't the same without it. Oh no. I'm still busy patching up everything here so I was hoping you could find it for me and bring it back. Or if it's really really gone, make a new one for me. But let's not give up on it just yet. Okay, the sandstorm was mostly blowing in the direction of the Yakmul Ranch. Is that what it was telling me earlier? I didn't understand. Do you think you can help me find it? Yeah, I can do that. Great, when you go out in that direction, watch out for the rocket roosters. I've already met those. They're great. <laughs> Not a friendly bunch. I'd cons consider them armed, uh, winged, and dangerous. <laughs> anyway, if you find it, please install it for me as well. My saloon's just not the same without it. All right, I'll definitely do that for you, my friend. So are you really missing your sign? The sign's still there. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But okay. Oh my gosh. There's so many quests that I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I have no idea. That's okay. Hello, Captain. Oh, you're a cutie pie, aren't you? Meow. You're so cute. <laughs> He's a member of the Civil Corps, apparently. Hey, Mason. How's it going? Maybe the sandstorm delaying my departure was some kind of sign? Maybe. Maybe it's a sign that you're supposed to stay? You should stay. Hey, it's Jasmine. Oh, she's eating a cupcake. Oh, that's super, super cute. Hello. How are you? My ma said that there's always something, there's always some good in everything, but where's the good in the sandstorm? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I'm not too sure about that one. I can't answer that one for you, I'm afraid. All right. So we got something going on down here. I think actually this is where we need to go to get water as well. So we're going to go and grab some water from this area. Some water. That'd be great. It's going to be expensive, isn't it? All right. Let's see. I can buy five of them. Let's buy five. That would be good, actually. i still got some money left over. I guess you can only buy them in stacks of five, though. We're just going to go with five for now, and hopefully that's... That would be like good enough. I hope that there's a way to get like water for free somehow. I don't know if there is. That's the only way I know how to get some right now. A quest from you as well. Hello. Good day to you, builder. I was just looking for you. Yeah? Well, I was just searching for you because I saw you had a big old blue exclamation mark above your head. <laughs> what can I do for you? I came by to ask you to fill out a survey. It's something the church gives to all newcomers. Very standard procedure. Care to take a moment to fill it out? Sure, why not? Wonderful! First question, how often do you follow the rules? I always follow the rules. I am a very diligent villager. I don't annoy the townspeople. Mm-hmm, I see. I'm not lying, I swear. What are your <laughs> opinions on bandits? Hmm, maybe they're misunderstood. Mm-hmm, I see. Can you stop looking at me with those judgmental eyes? <laughs> and finally, what are your feelings towards water wasting? <laughs> glug glug pour it all out. <laughs> what kind of responses are they? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I try not to waste water. All right, then. Let me just run the numbers here and... Uh, hmm. Well, the bad news is you're not quite ideal Sandrock citizen material. But the good news is... You have lots of room for improvement, and you can start improving right this very minute. Okay, great. I'm sorry I'm not ideal Sandrock citizen material. God, you actually base whether they're ideal citizens just off those three questions? That's crazy. So the short of it is, there's some sand on the plants and flowers in our temple garden. If you could go clean that up for us, that'd be great. 
what is this am i doing some kind of like what's it called like a civil sort of like work or something <laughs> is that what's going on here am i being punished well thanks in advance may the light follow you always oh by the way you'll need a feather duster to clean up the plants you do have a feather duster don't you they're all the rage these days I actually do have one, thank you, but I have a lot of things to do, so I don't know if I'm going to do that right away. i got so many missions to do. Is there any missions that have to be done, like, today? Or, like, okay, none of, none of the missions I have have to be done today, so we're fine to just do what we want. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn this quest in. i got to go to Owen. Is it up there? Instant karma? Is that the quest I'm doing? I've got so many quests. Nope, that's something else. What is that? Oh, that's cleaning up the sand. I want to do this fishing one. Where Where do I go for that? Where do I go to turn that in? That's the question. I have no idea. Wherever Owen is. So it would probably be at the Blue Moon Saloon. I actually did see him earlier, but he didn't say anything. Oh, wait. Is it because I maybe I don't have the fish on me? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, so we have to go and grab the fish. I think I put them in one of my boxes and like I just didn't realize. Uh, well, I guess we could sort this out. So let's put some water in here. Do I have that much? I don't have that much, do I? Well, apparently I do. Whatever. Okay, everything is now going again because we got water. So that's a fantastic. That's great. Let's go find my my sand fish i don't know where i put them ah they're here all right perfect so now we got the sand fish let's go and turn this in to owen and i hope that we get some like money or something that would be great because i don't feel like i have that much money i've been spending a lot of money recently so let's just hope that we get something back from this that would be awesome but only time will tell i feel like we've been making a lot of fantastic progress so <laughs> there really is a lot to do in this game surprisingly I know there'll be a point where we start running out though, but right now uh, it's keeping me very busy, so I'm happy with that. I love all the like little things that they eat. Like, what even is that? Hey, you really came through. You're a lifesaver. You kind of eat a little bit weird. Like, who holds their fork like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just nice to actually like seeing the villagers doing stuff though. I think that's kind of cool. All right, I'm a lifesaver. Why, thank you. I'll be posting more supply requests on the commission board in the future. So watch for those. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, you know. <laughs> but you're welcome. Oh my, hello. I got this. And steamed sandfish. He cooked them for me. He cooked them for me. So now I have some lovely, like, uh, dish here. So you need an apprentice cooking station to make this. That's cool that you can actually, like, cook stuff and things. Uh, what? Oh, it went over there. I was like, where did that go? That like freaked me out for a second. I kind of like to have like an extra, like an empty slot so I'm not like carrying stuff. I don't know. I just like to not carry stuff sometimes. What are you eating? You're eating some kind of like wrap thing. It's so cool how like the villagers just do stuff like sweeping the floor and like eating things. I love how they just went the extra mile with those details. I think that's super cool actually. I'm really like impressed that they just added small details like that. I really love, I love it when like, you know, games have stuff like that. <laughs> It's just nice. It's nice to know that they put in the extra effort to make the villagers just seem that much more lifelike. So yeah, that's great. I like that. All right, what shall we do next? I feel like I want to... I want to do this quest. I want to make this sunshade thing because why not? Why are you running off to? That's the question. The, the villagers all have ants in their pants. They're always just running around and doing things all the time. They're always super busy, aren't they? <laughs> They're always doing something or other. So that's interesting. Okay, so I need to make basic leather. And can I make that in here? Yeah, I can make that in here. I need sea salt. I need to go and get that from the blue moon, apparently. So I need... And that makes how many? Does that make one? I think that might make one. So that means I'm going to need to buy four of those dang i need fin 
thread. So I can make two of those. Let's see, is that all I needed? Yes. So I just need to buy like this sea salt stuff. I need like four of it. I don't know if there's a way to get it without buying it, but that's where it said it was at. So I think that's where I need to go. Look that like Hugo over there is like dusting his windows. Like how cool is that? You can see all the sand coming off of it as well. How cool is that? That's really cool. I don't know. I just, I really love things like that. I just think it's awesome. Actually, it's just justice walking around. All right. I got to go back in here again. So I got to go get some sea salt. <laughs> so that's annoying. I wish I knew that like when I was in here, but it's fine. All right. So blue moon to go. I need sea salt. Do you not sell? Oh, here. Sea salt. I need like four of them, please. Luckily, they're nice and cheap. So that's fantastic. All right, that's all I needed. So uh, see you later, guys. See you later. Let's go back to the workshop. Okay, so now we can make basic leather. I don't, I don't think we can make all of it though. Oh no, I'm gonna have to kill more of these. Kill more of whatever this is. Um, dogs will chew on it. What, what do you think? Monsters work table. It said, I think um, yaks maybe. Should we find some yaks? I reckon we can get some leather from some yaks. So let's, let's try it. Let's take them down. I feel like we're strong enough at this point to be able to take these down for sure. Here we go. It's actually nice to do some combat, you know. I learned about the wild yakmo. That was the first time I'd actually taken one of those down. So that was pretty awesome. I'm gonna do some fighting today. I'm gonna do some combat. Very nice. The combat's really satisfying. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> it feels feels good. <laughs> I like the sparks that fly off when you're fighting stuff. Wow, those things drop copper bars. <laughs> That's interesting. This is a level nine. I hope I'm strong enough to fight this. <laughs> Don't know if this was a good idea, but gonna try it anyway <laughs> and hope that I'm strong enough. Come on, man, you got this. You can take this thing down. Go, don't let up. Don't give him a chance to breathe. He's not even moving, like barely. He doesn't know what's happening. He's like confuzzled. Okay, my health is still looking pretty good right now, so I think we'll be okay. All right, there we go. Very nice, very, very nice indeed. Got quite a bit of stuff there. A machine upgrade kit as well, interesting. All right, I'm sure that'll be useful or something. Running out, you use stamina for doing this as well, but managing to get quite a few of these things down. Poor Yakmos, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to murder you like this. <laughs> I don't want to, but I have to. I have to for my quest. It's just the way these things go, I'm afraid. Do you think that's enough? Enough um, leather? I got some damaged animal pelt as well. I don't know if like you can turn that into leather or not. I'm not too sure about what you can do with that. But let's have a look. Basic leather. I can make one. Oh, we're just a tiny bit short. Raw animal skin. Oh, you can craft it into it. Oh, that's cool. And then I can craft it. There you go. Perfect. And now we can make the sunshade. Is it on the assembly thing? Is it on the assembly? I didn't know. Oh, it is. It's on the assembly station. All right, let's assemble this then. We're going to craft this. It's going to be amazing. And there we go. What do you think? Oh, wait, it's not quite done. <laughs> Something missing. <laughs> now it's done. Perfect. I like it. Very nice. Oh, yeah, I got bags under my eyes, don't I? That sucks a lot. But there you go. Very nice sunshade. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, let's um pick it up then. So we got our lovely sunshade now. So we see it above our head. <laughs> she puts it upside down. You crazy, crazy girl. You crazy girl. I got to go install it apparently. Got to go install it over there or something. I don't know. I guess we'll do that quickly. And then, yeah, it's probably, probably time to hit the hay. It's, it's getting dark and I'm probably going to keep these nasty bags over my eyes so that sucks oh no what did i do did i do something wrong oh boy am i not supposed to go in the water i'm not supposed to go in the water okay how do i how do i install this thing then maybe i'm supposed to walk all the way around what a pain in the butt all right so it needs to be installed where here okay let's install it there we go very very nice and there it is <laughs> so cool. I can finally enjoy the oasis view in the shade. I've been bugging old Mason to help me forever, but he's always busy this, busy that. I'm so glad you're here. You're welcome. Anything I can do to help, I'll, I'll try my best. 
but yeah that's that's pretty awesome i like it Okay then, I think I'm gonna stop the episode here for now, but thank you so much for, for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.